Wilder didn't look right from the get-go. I think Fury probably did his head in in the build-up. I mean, they, they, they ran those guys ragged in the promotion of that fight. And by the time they got to the ring, Wilder looked like he was out of juice already. What they say, I'm not too many. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's showtime! Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing, man. What's up with it, fam? Hey, listen, man, um... This is a video that I ain't see myself doing, man. I didn't see myself. If you'd have told me Friday night that Monday I'll be doing a video congratulating Tyson Fury on his victory over Deontay Wilder, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't plan on plan on plan on this happening, man. Um, yeah, I picked uh, I picked Deontay Wilder to win this fight, um, but. You know, going into it, I knew that Tyson Fury was dangerous, and um, I knew that you know there was a, a possibility that you know Tyson Fury was going to fight like he said he was going to fight. But I do think Tyson Fury just crazy enough to go in and try to uh, knock Deontay Wilder out. I believe it. I do believe it, man. You know what I mean? He ain't put on his weight for nothing. Now, since then, um, you know, JD's has come out and, you know, talked about um, was the, 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 the costume that Wilder was wearing, was, did that play a factor in him, uh, you know, his legs being so weak and, you know, um, him being so gassed. Wilder looked gassed from, from the second round. He was fighting with his mouth open from the second round. Now, I don't know what that was about. I don't know why he just looked so off balance. Um, Fury just basically, after the after he punched him in the back of the head, man, he basically ragdolled uh, Wilder, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Fury came in shape. Um, you know that 273 was was a big help for Fury. You know what I'm saying? The question was, you know, would it hurt him or help him? And that was, you know, the talk leading up you know after the way in the talk leading up to the fight man and that that 273 that helped him a lot man because it seemed like you know he was just throwing wilder around man that ring like a rag doll you know what i'm saying he was putting him in in all type of headlocks and choking him and you know what i'm saying uh he was landing that right hand at will it was a thudding right hand that you know um had wilder leaking from the ear had his whole side of his uh the left side of his face swelled up man knotted up real good um and um yeah man that's what it is tyson fury you know did what he said he was going to do um now the question that everybody's wondering should deontay wilder take the rematch you know what i'm saying and 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 what i say to that is if deontay wilder was a hundred percent going into was a hundred percent in that ring, and um, you know he felt like he was at his best. Then I would say, don't take the rematch, man. You know what I'm saying? If he was at, if there was something wrong with Wilder, if he, you know what I'm saying, if that shot to the back of the head, you know, really fucked him up really bad, and he knew it, then you know what I'm saying, I would take the rematch. You know. Um, but if it was just the, 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 the fact that Fury just did what he wanted to do and Wilder knows that, then I wouldn't take the rematch, man. Because what Tyson Fury did to Deontay Wilder, man, um, was total domination. Total domination. You know what I'm saying? Um, but credit to Wilder. He hung in there like a true warrior, man. And, you know, he fought. He was throwing a punch when when Mark Breland threw the towel in. You know what I'm saying? Um, battered and bloodied and bruised, he was still throwing punches. You know what I mean? So you have to give Deontay credit um, for his heart. Um, Tyson Fury surprised, surprised me, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this new style that he got will be a problem for any heavyweight. He's too big, man. He's a big boy. 
You know what I'm saying? And Deontay Wilder caught caught Tyson Fury with a hard right hand in that first round. You know, um, Tyson Fury even, even talked about it. You know, said that it hurt him. You know, um, Tyson Fury was able to absorb that punch that would have normally knocked the man out. You know what I'm saying? Without all that weight on him, possibly could have knocked Tyson Fury out. You know, um, but credit to Fury. You know, credit to Fury. He did what he was supposed to do. Um, referee Kenny Bayless um, did not uh, say anything about the blow behind the head. So, you know what I mean? you got It's a fight. You got to do what you got to do in that fight, man. And Tyson Fury did what he had to do. And he came out of there victorious. Ring Magazine title, WBC title, um, lineal champion. You know what I'm saying? Undefeated. And, um, you know... Wilder, Wilder took his his first L, you know what I'm saying? Um, Floyd Mayweather, who who was real silent about Deontay Wilder leading up to this fight, um, he posted a post, you know, um, words of encouragement to Deontay Wilder. I thought that was real um, honorable of, of Floyd to do, you know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of people who was in shock, you know, at that arena. You could look at on the, the face of the panel. Um, Tim Bradley, uh, uh, Sean Porter, Max Kellerman, um, uh, what's his name? Bernardo. All them dudes up there was, they were shocked, man. You know what I mean? They were shocked. You know, the arena, you could see the fans walking out. They were shocked. They ain't see it going down like that. You know what I mean? They ain't see it going down like that. Um, but the reality is, it did. You know, and now we're going to wait and see if uh, we get a response from the champ, Deontay Wilder. He will always be a champ in my eyes, man. Um, uh, Deontay Wilder is a, is a real solid stand-up guy in my eyes, and um, he will always be a champion. You understand me? Um, but, you know, we'll wait, wait to hear from the champ. Um, but uh, I think he'll take the rematch. Because, you know, I just know the type of metal that Deontay Wilder has. The type of nuts that he walk around with, man. And um, we're going to be in for a third fight this summer, man. You know what I'm saying? And and then we'll see what really goes on. You know what I mean? First fight, Deontay Wilder dropped Fury multiple times. Hurt him multiple times. Um, so it can be done. You know what I mean? So you can't tell me that... Um, you know, Fury just, just going to walk over Deontay Wilder. Um, like I said, Wilder didn't look right from the get-go. He was breathing out his mouth heavy from the second round. And um, I'm going to leave that right there, man. You know what I'm saying? But shots out to Tyson Fury. He did what he had to do. He is now the new champion. And, um, you know, hats off to him. That's all I got. I appreciate y'all tuning in. In the meantime and in between time, Stay blessed and keep on supporting this sport that we love called boxing. Peace.